gentlemen, welcome once again to Chikara's Podcast A Go Go, your weekly dose of Chikara's brand of pro wrestling. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. Ladies and gentlemen, today's match took place at Cybernetico just a few months back. Fire Ant was scheduled to take on Chuck Taylor of Fist. Now, Chuck Taylor had a match earlier that day with Dragon Gate USA. It was unclear as to whether Raccoon City's favorite son was even going to make it for the show. But it seemed that Chuck Taylor had a few surprises for Fire Ant. I guess he made it for us, Rems first. Just in the nick of time, Chuck Taylor able to join us here in Easton, carrying his hoodie and his, his title belt. I guess that's all that's important to him in life. Wrestling earlier today in Philadelphia, it quite the commute here to Easton for his scheduled match with Fire Ant. Badly, he wants to get his hands on Fire Ant. The long story history of the colony and fist is no secret. These guys, of course, had a number of legendary encounters here in Chikara. A Lucha Day of Puesta for the ages, of course, most recently. The finals of King of Trios 2011, perhaps the most memorable con confrontation in their feud. And it's still not over here. Absolutely not, as Taylor, along with Johnny Gargano, currently hold the Camden State Brayhouse, and it's tomorrow at high noon, when the clock strikes high noon. It'll be Fire and Soldier, I'm going for their third point, so these guys may see each other again very soon. Mm -hmm. Former champion Fire Ant in there with current campeón de pareja, Chuck Taylor. And both of them through the chairs, parting the seeds, both former Young Lions Cup champs as well. Mike. Right you are, sir, right you are. Fire Ant stalking Chuck Taylor through a sea of folding chairs to the back of the Plunplex. Fire Ant came to fight him. He was ready to go the second he came to the curtain. Wait a second. Taylor blocking the Rana. Oh, power bombing him to the bleachers. And I'm not sure if Barber can, can count them out because Taylor hasn't been in the ring yet. Has the bell sounded? No, no. Chuck Taylor hasn't been in. They both have to be inside the ring for the bell to sound. It hasn't happened yet. Now they're in this match. Both participants need to be in the ring so referee John Barber can officially start the match. Now, now, there we go. Here we go. Officially underway and a two and a half count already. That would have been contesting uh, the Tim great Dunn. 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 Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Was that's going to be a tough one to break, right? Four seconds? Yeah. That's tough. Take that, King Kong Bunny and SD Jones. Mm -hmm. The unshaven and probably soggy titan Chuck Taylor. It's body slam spiring. Apparently there's there's more sun up here. And Chuck Taylor looking uncharacteristically tan in his uh, day here in, in Easton. But but like you said, Mike, this this isn't the first match he's had. Today. Fire has just been stewing in the back all night. I've seen him pacing around. Yeah, and exactly. You know that's an interesting advantage that Fire Ant will have here because. Chuck Taylor has already wrestled today. Went through a, a, an excruciating match this afternoon, and now he's here against a fresh and fiery fire ant. It is to Taylor's disadvantage here. Not to mention the discomfort of driving in your wrestling. Time. That is like the worst ever. <laughs> the worst ever. And it's a it's a it's a low feeling. You can't get out. You can't go. You can't use the gas station restroom or anything. Uh, I once had to do that actually. Well, uh, during my days tag teaming with the reckless youth Tom Carter, we uh, we had to drive from a card in New Jersey to another card we had to get to in Pennsylvania and stop to get directions. And it was up to me to go into the convenience store, decked out as I was. Was the, was that the blue and purple single days or the pink and yellow? Uh, it may have been the blue and purple. Uh, it was a low moment. Yeah. I had a similar experience uh, with our friends, the Wild Cards, after mm. a, uh, a fair show for FNW. Oh, somewhere a rib cook-off. In the in the white vinyl pants days. You might have been there. You might have been there. Mm. I think so. Right. There were multiple shows in the same day. Rib fest. Yes, yes. It was not a succession of pro wrestling practical <laughs> jokes, no. but in fact a cook-off. Whoa. And now Chuck Taylor taking his anger out on the free hug shirt girl out on fire. Like she looks like she's ready to go though. 
Uh, Taylor's taking a photo of her. And a photo of himself having a good old time. Free hugs girl firmly in the corner of Fire Ant. As most huggable people are, sure. And among the least huggable people on the roster, Fist. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of it has to do with Gargano's uh, haircut and Icarus's general disposition on life. Nothing to do with Gargano's body odor. Mm -hmm. Nothing. That's what we call a contributing factor. Set happens to be there. The attorney might bring it up in their closing arguments, but you don't put it on the table during discovery. Along for the ride. Whoa, hard whip by Taylor. Not sure that's the object of a wrestling match. Mm. The Kentucky gentleman, at least as it says across his tights in cursive. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Is that, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Put President of the United States on your tights. I didn't realize. Done. I've always wanted to be Speaker of the House. Chuck Taylor now sending him across the hypotenuse of the ring, as my friend Bryce Remsburg likes to say. The upturned right foot of Fire Ant stopped his momentum there. And another. Fire Ant hurts two. Hell! An incredible crossbody from the heavens. Up and around he goes. Jeez! Satellite DT finds the mark. Referee John Barber in position. Ah, but only two, says referee JB. Astonishing body control, Fire Ant there, turning mid-motion. And we mentioned the familiarity of these two. No feeling out process. These two just going right for it. Fire Ant from the heavens! Slingshot, high cross body. Usually we see a, a front flip out of the there. Who knows? Sometimes when you get up that high and you springboard to the top and you get a look at what's down below, you can better judge what's right for your flight pattern. And in that moment, Fire Ant chose the plancha. I'll take your word for it. It's true. And at this point, Taylor in the ring first, I believe, thrown by Fire Ant, but Fire Ant hot on his tail. I see. Oh, he wanted that brain kick from the top. He may have tweaked his knee there on that landing. High kick, misses the mark. Foot. Oh, looking for soul food. Fire Ant knew it was coming. Here it comes. <laughs> Cracked him across the chest. And Fire Ant maybe looking for that beach break. Nope. Oh, the brain buster, Bryce. Very popular move this evening, but dropping Taylor, pulling him away from the ropes. Only two. Another close near fall for Fire Ant. He had one previously with the satellite DDT, which is another move that spikes you on your head. Followed with the brain buster. Good succession of moves and an obvious setup for the beach break. His reverse belly to back pile driver, which again drops you on your head and compresses the spine. Brain kick on the money. Who knows of the brain damage uh, given to Chuck Taylor's previous engagement tonight? Each break is countered. Wait a second. Razor's edge? Oh, and in the corner! An unceremonious Don't deposit fire. to the turnbuckles. Heaves him to the mat with authority. <laughs> Perhaps the closest near fall yet. Going for the cross crab now is Chuck Taylor. He's gonna give up. He used this move to force into submission Daniel Bryan, or at the time Bryan Danielson as he was known. To win King of Trios 2009. You're exactly right. Feet. Not many people have submitted him, and Taylor did it with this very move. But you see, Mike, he's not quite sitting down on it. No, no. He's maybe thinking about his next move, look, looking ahead of the game here, but Fire Ant inching ever closer to that bottom rope. Fire Ant's got just enough to work with. Can he make it to the bottom rope? Thinking about the tap out, but instead they're able to reach the ropes, and Taylor taking full advantage of the four count of Jonathan Barber. That's why you better be silent. Well, he told them. I think he really confused some people with that one. They knew what to do. I oftentimes find his rambling back. <laughs> Hooking him up. Whoa! He gave Fire Ant too much time. Absolutely. Exhibiting great body control, he came down with a stunner out of the suplex. Absolutely. Turning himself mid-flight as Fire Ant is so apt to do. Ooh, now it's changing kicks to the brain. Whoa! Fire really reeled back on that one. Taylor was on spaghetti legs, but he came with a flying one-footed kick there. I believe that was uh, gibberish for Awful Waffle as he's looking at Whoa. the beach driver. No, slips out. The beach break. Oh, Taylor. Man, these guys know each other so well. Oh, but he, look, he's got him pinned up nice and tight. Fire Ant has done it. Ladies
Ladies and gentlemen, Chikara fans, season 10 is now behind us. But boy, was it one for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. From King of Trios to Chikarasaurus Rex to High Noon to our post-season Joshi Mania celebration, ladies and gentlemen, all of our Chikara events from 2011 are available at SmartMarkVideo.com, the official home video for Chikara Pro. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, about the Chikara app available from Axiva for your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. It's only 99 cents and contains over 40 videos from your favorite Chikara stars. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gavin. I will see you again next week on the GoGo. Peace, everyone.